What's up you guys, Rafe Tarazi here. And to answer your immediate question, you're probably wondering why is Rafe Tarazi half naked? So I wanted to do a quick little video just to let you guys know that I have officially chosen the date of my next competition. A lot of you guys have been asking, when are you gonna compete again? Are you gonna compete again? The answer is yes, and I've chosen it today. So some of you might not be familiar with me and the fact that I compete and I'm in fitness and all that, and you're thinking, wait, this guy's gonna compete for bodybuilding? He doesn't look like a bodybuilder. Those guys are like huge and jacked and like look like they're roided out. Well, in the bodybuilding competition world, there are different categories that you can compete in. So I compete in what's called men's physique. And that is when you see those guys wearing board shorts and um, they're just really, really ripped. Yeah, they, a lot of them are still huge, but they're just not as big as the like full on bodybuilding competitors or the classic bodybuilding guys. Um, it's basically judged from the waist up. I mean, it's, it's still a good idea to work on your calves and make sure you have some sort of proportionate size in your legs. But for the most part, it's focused on the waist up. It's about size, yes, but it's also about how conditioned you are, meaning how ripped lean you are, um, as well as proportions that all your muscles are proportionate to each other, that it makes sense aesthetically and that it's aesthetically pleasing. And that also um, there is uh, symmetry on both sides of your body, that not one muscle on one side is bigger than the same muscle on the other side of the body. So those are the primary aspects of men's physique bodybuilding. On that note, I would also like to point out that I'm competing for INBA, PNBA, that's the federation. INBA is for the amateurs, PNBA is the, the pros. I did win first place in a competition last year for INBA, so that made me pro qualified. So as soon as I step out on stage in August, I will officially be a pro, as soon as I step foot on that stage. That's how the rules work. So right now I'm pro qualified, as soon as I'm on stage, I'm a pro. But the important thing to know is that they are a natural tested federation. So they follow WADA regulations, which is the World Anti-Doping Agency. That's also um, how the Olympics are run. So it's Olympic level drug testing standards. That isn't to say that no one gets through who is taking some sort of performance enhancing drug, but for the most part, that is the way that the Federation is structured to level the playing field, to make it as fair as they can and test when they can and all of that. So <clears throat> that, that was something important to me because I'm natural, lifetime natural. I've never done any like steroids or growth hormone or insulin or anything like that. So I wanted to really make sure I was competing on a level playing field with other people. Of course, it would be nice to like compete against everybody, but the reality is if you're not taking performance enhancing drugs on the regular in the regu regular federations, there's no way that you're gonna be able to keep up with those guys because they're just massive. So the competition that I'm gearing up for is gonna be August 24th. It's the San Diego and US Warriors is the name of the competition. It's in San Diego, which is Southern California, right near the Mexico border. Um, and it's about, it's, gonna, it's about 16 weeks from now. I think, yeah, it's about 16 weeks. So I have a 16 week prep. That's the longest prep I've ever done. Usually I do like eight to 12 weeks. Um, 16 weeks and I'm starting right away. I've got in touch with my coach. He's awesome. He just posted on Instagram that he had won. He'd taken, I think, the year off and come back to competing. He's a pro, of course, and he won his first competition back. So cool. His name's uh, William Long. You should check him out. I'll put his Instagram in the video and a link to his Instagram down below. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys uh, that heads up that I'm going to be competing, I'm going to be prepping, and of course I'll do updates and let you guys know like what's going on with my diet and my supplements and all of that and my whole regimen and what my day looks like. And I also wanted to kind of show, let's see, where my body is at and then kind of give you guys an idea of the progress and what that looks like. So this is me from the front, from the side, in the back. other side and the front so I'll post a picture right now this was I believe when I was carb depleted the week of a competition um, so if, if you compare the way that I look 
like from the side in that picture to what's going on right now. And a lot of you are probably gonna think I'm really lean, but the reality is I hold a lot of fat here down in my lower back and in my glutes, which, you know, some people like that. It serves its purpose, but when it comes to competing, I, I gotta get rid of all of it. So um, yeah, I retain a lot of fat back here. And the, the skin, if I do like a skin pinch, which is a measure of body fat, it's actually pretty thick in my back as well. So I know I have a lot of fat that's just like kind of hidden. You can't really notice it. But when you see the before and after, it's such a striking difference. So there's, I got a long ways to go, but I have a good healthy amount of time to get there. So I, I'm not at all worried that I'll be able to hit my mark if I just stay consistent and stay focused on that. And with my coach, he's awesome. He's gonna help me with posing as well. So I'm not worried about that. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys right now. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have updates for you and uh, please let me know any questions you have as far as my contest prep, diet, uh, my workouts, stuff like that, or if there's anything else specifically related to fitness videos that you would like to see me do. I'm happy to check out those comments and provide that content to you if, if you guys wanna see it. All right, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new here, and uh, stick around, I got a lot more great content coming for you. Peace, guys.